Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch's mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Fifty-one, fifty lives again. Yet another week of what the fuck it is. You understand me? I am Corey Holcomb here with OG Darlene Ortiz. Uh, we about to talk this shit, and <laughs> I I have to start out the show with um my opinion of what I heard. As I listen to the monologue of comedian Bill Burr, do you? Wasn't he? He came to the show. We was down at the Foxhole. Fox yeah, no, he, yeah, he, he gets around that dude, and yeah. he's and he's raw and very funny. And and that's what I want to talk about. Like people said, raw. Like Darlene just um, said, raw, and things like that. In America, the, um, first of all, am I getting a close-up on this shot or is it still far away? We good? No, nah, my hair ain't cutting all this. Now, listen, I want, I, want, I want everybody to just understand how telling the truth is the new foul language. It's a bad word. When you tell the truth, people describe it as everything but the truth. They describe it as raw, mean. Um, I see Craig Fax, he had the, where is that, the front door? Right. Yeah. When you tell the truth, it's described as something that should not have been said. Yeah, yeah. The, the truth is something that should not be shocking when it's spoke. It's, the truth is something that people should take and embrace and, 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 and realize that by speaking the truth, somebody is doing something that's good. Come on in, Craig. Facts, have a seat, brother. Yeah, I get called a bad guy. I get called all this stuff. I've even been called a woman hater for telling the truth. Now, some of it is my opinion, but telling the truth is not a bad thing. And what really, the only thing that works me about it is I don't like when people say, oh, he got a problem with women. The truth is, motherfuckers who have problems with the truth have a problem with me. There are so many beautiful women who love to hear the truth. Women who are actually attracted to the truth. And when they hear it, they gain a whole nother respect for you. So when people walk up to me and be like, oh, he disrespectful. I, most of the time, I already know, oh, this is an average bitch who ain't never heard nobody talk to her. Honestly, an honest conversation with most women I have met, this, I'm just gonna speak for my life. Speaking honestly to women that I have met is almost like a, a way of getting them to fuck away from you. Mm. If you. If you talk to them honestly, you perturb them. Is that the, is that the word, perturb? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 
and, and there's nothing that I want to do about it because I like the weeding process that comes from telling people things that they really don't want to hear, especially if you're a man who's bold enough to tell a woman you're dealing with, you're not the only woman I'm dealing with. If you do that for the average woman, it's a death sentence for y'all relationship. Might even be a death sentence for your friendship. <laughs> I'm just saying. They don't even want to be your friend if you're honest enough to tell them, hey, look here, babe. You know, I love you, but there's somebody else I deal with. This is my life where I deal with you, I deal with this person, I deal with that person. And I don't care how well you treat them. The average female will not like that. She will not accept that you don't tell her it's all about her. Which is why I was so amazed when Mr. Bill Burr said what he said on Saturday Night Live. He put it all on the line, but now, in my opinion, it's no hype no more. He's become a legend. Because telling the truth can turn you into a legend. Telling the truth, because people are like, wow, he said what I don't have the nerve to say. They're not going to say it like that most of the time. They're going to say, oh, he was foul. He was, he put it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good job, Bill Burry. I like the way you talked about, you know what I'm saying, um, how, let me, let me just be blunt. White bitches play angel. White bitches, especially white bitches, middle class and higher, in my opinion, are the most difficult people in society to be around. Now that's going to really fly. Oh, did you hear what Corey said? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. But if the shoe don't fit, then it shouldn't bother you. Right, right. If you happen to be a, uh-oh. Oh, oh shit. shit. Here we go. Oh, Let's get shit. A, let's get a close-up of this. That nigga finally got that shit to twist oh, level. Shit. That nigga Craig and this bitch. Great. Let me get a close-up photo. That motherfucker Craig. You want to turn to the side, Craig, if you want to. Look, oh, oh shoot. Yes, they did it right, too. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm on, I'm Who on. Who twist your shit? Oh, one of these little, uh, one of these little scumbag bitches I be oh, fucking with. Oh, my God. Why she you did it. Hey. She wasn't too scumbag. No, she did your shit right, she did Joe. It. Yeah. Uh, she yeah. made your shit look right. When they grow in, yeah. and you get some hang time. It's going to be right. Boy, yeah. you're going to be fucking all these average hoes. <laughs> All these average hoes uh, don't get it, dude. I'm going to post that have a, a nice man with hair on the brain. Oh, oh good. shit. Good. I can give it home. to you now. Uh -huh. They do it good with that your shit. But back on, back, on the, back on the 100 shit. White bitches knew that they husbands were clans members. Even on that movie Django, even though it's just a movie, they joked about it. They cut the fucking KKK mask for their husband to go out. So did all that. But what was it the bill said about that? That every now and then, though, you want to dibble dabble over here with a brother. Everybody yeah. know white bitches fuck niggas. I'm not saying white bitches, all white bitches marry niggas. But what was it that or, he or really try to be with niggas. But a, a a large proportion of white bitches fuck a nigga just to it's like the the thing they do i'm gonna get that in mm. in life mm -hmm. not all of them though but i'm saying a big portion of them they have sex with a black dude just to say i fucked the black guy or when they yeah. drunk at their parties yeah. i suck nigga dick <laughs> I, 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 I don't know exactly I, I, how he I, put I, it but he had something, some, it went to some degree like, oh, but well, when was, you get caught, something like that. He was that, talking you about can, when they get caught with the nigga, they act like. It wasn't like, consensual. It wasn't consensual. Mm. Ooh, and yeah. this, is, this is so true. It's like fucking scumbag bitches. Like, it's so, let me tell you something. When they showed how Trump got so many female votes. Right. <laughs> Now, here's a man been accused of sexual assault 
by over 20 women. Sexual assault and pepper. Mm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All the spices. Married to a flat out whore. <laughs> turmeric up in there. Yeah, sexual turmeric. <laughs> sexual timing. Maybe we shouldn't even say his wife Who's? is a whore. Because he took her out the game with his money. Right. I don't believe she was out the game before he met her. Right. Which makes a difference to me. Yeah. I'm talking about a woman, a loose woman, mm-hmm. with a pass. Some guys have enough money to take the bitch out the street, but you can see the misery in her eye. <laughs> she really want to run the streets the most, which is what I see. Oh, and, right, and mm-hmm. Trump wife. That bitch want to get away from that pamper wham, motherfucker. Yeah, but like, like a couple of people have already broke it down. What was his name? Uh, uh, damn, that comedian. I keep forgetting his name. Trevor Noah. He said he has the answer to that because of all those bills, debt bills that are due this coming year, that that's the reason she hasn't left him because she'll be liable for him, half. Oh, yeah, I that's get what, what you're saying. That's what they say, because his loan bills are due this year. That's oh, why he wow. wants to win again, uh, so he can pay off all his stuff. He anyway. just filed bankruptcy, though. That nigga done done it like a hundred times. Not, 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 no, he's got know. some other loans that he has to pay. We're talking about Donald Trump with money problems. Donald Trump is a... He know how to play the game. And because he a Caucasian male, they not coming for him like that. Yeah, but right. people, but those folks that follow him like that want to say, claim he's such a good businessman. No, he was given that stuff by his daddy. He don't know how to generate shit. Right, right. Even with that, though, I'm just saying, there's a way to manipulate the game. Mm. He pays $750 in taxes, like they said, because he knows how to how play to this game. Mm. Right. And the people in charge of what happens to him don't have power over him. Right, right. I agree. Mm-mm. You can't do it. Yeah. But Donald Trump can run that bullshit. Yeah. All he want. But back on this motherfucking Bill Burr shit, Bill Burr will eat forever because of what he did. He'll go down in history yeah. as one of the best comedians. He was already one of the best comedians yeah. anyway. Yeah. But I'm saying now... He'll go down in history as one of the best comedians ever because you did something. You use foul language. It's called the truth. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> he went on Saturday Night Live and told the truth. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is why I don't hesitate to tell the truth. I wish I would be a fucking um, uh, motherfucker. I can't do Netflix because I won't act and say what they want me to say. Well, motherfuck all them venues. I... I know what happens when I do comedy shows. I see people leave satisfied. And I'm not gonna stop because some television program wants me to say what's safe to them. Right. If you out there with the people, you know they love to hear the truth. And what he said about them faggot motherfuckers. Oh, Corey said faggot, oh, go get him. Faggot motherfuckers acting like they were slaves. <laughs> Acting like they got a movement of, uh, 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 oh, we've been oppressed and all that shit. Motherfucker, a fag can straighten up and fly right and be the president, yeah. as we have seen. He can be married to a boy. I tell people all the time, you know the war is coming. It's on its way. The big war. Which one? Between the gays and the bisexuals. <laughs> it's coming. Damn you, Greg. Gay people can't say nothing to me until they do something about this bisexual problem. <laughs> it's a, ain't nothing wrong with gay people, but bisexual. What is a bisexual? Make your choice. Make a choice. You got these motherfuckers, you letting uh, perpetrate your lifestyle. And you claim you're born this way, but you got these other motherfuckers dilly dallying, jumping from all side willy, to willy, side. Like who? I'm just saying, with in the, in, the, in that community, like, like rappers. I mean, rappers, even women. They got women thinking that they're not homosexuals, that they that they bisexual. If you're a woman and you mess with a woman, you're a homosexual. But too many men are okay you're a with homo. that. Huh? They've expressed too many men have expressed too much that they're all right with that. That that's sort of a turn on. So they're it's just. But what I'm saying is, if no, 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 no. Most men, most men. Hmm act like it's a turn on, but, but, 
They don't want them funky bitches around them in their house. But they'll take that. Um, Call a lesbian, a, hom a bisexual or a lesbian homosexual, see if they don't get mad at you. Mm. Call a who? Call some, a, 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 a lesbian woman, a homosexual, and watch them get mad at you. They think they better. I live in Los Angeles, California, and I already know most women that you deal with done tried something with a woman before. Now, they ain't going to admit it. Right. And they going to deny it. And you know what I'm saying? Act like everybody that say that about them is lying. Right. But when you got five, six, seven people that say, oh, you know, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> I ain't saying it's true. Right. But what I'm saying is, why are so many people talking about you switch hidden? Right. Right. Straight up. Mm -hmm. I'm saying like, shit, I... I, I ain't mad at you for switch hitting. I'm mad at you for acting like you don't switch hit yeah. and talking shit to me about bitches I'm fucking. Right. Yeah, they, they get mad at the wrong people. They get mad at us for observing what they do, but they don't get mad at the ones that perpetrate their lifestyle, perpetrating the fraud. That's why it can't be like being black. Most it of the ain't time, no buy yeah. black shoes. By black jewels, well, well put. One, one drop make you black, right? Right. <laughs> they say you can't pay, you can't tote both sides of the line. You either black or you not. Mm. How about that? So the war is coming. Arm up. You I mean, I ain't participating because I ain't got nothing to do with it. But I'll be watching. I'll be watching too. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, gay men are more respectable than undercover gay men. Is that, is that, is that a fact? Yeah, I know a lot of respectable, yeah, persons of, the, of that, uh, yeah, I got you. You can't, I, like I said, that week when we was on the show, if you perpetrate friendship with me, meaning like, you fuck men and don't tell me you fuck men, yeah. I take that personal if you're a man. You're dishonest. You, you putting me in your war. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you putting me in the middle of your shit, cause if you my friend, I got you back. Right. But if you fucking men, I'm trying to step back. Yeah, you can't have my back. You can have my side. You can right. Next to me. <laughs> but wait, that's just you. That's just somebody being around you, like hanging out, not trying to be with you. But can you imagine a a down low? Remember the old school down low dudes? Like, ugh. What do you mean down low dude? Remember when guys would be hiding it and they're still trying to be out there trying to act like they're not and getting with women. Right. That's the ultimate betrayal. It's like, it what? Is. Yeah. So yeah. is that worse than well, a like guy messing with a girl behind your back? A guy messing with a guy behind your back, is that worse than a guy messing with a girl behind it's your back? It's up there. It's, you, either way, you just being unfaithful, period. I don't care if it's with a dog or a, a, a man or a woman. You out there doing your if, thing, okay. If a guy messes with guys behind his girl's back, Ugh, he is good. destroying her legacy. Yeah. She yeah. Gonna, he is going to give her a, a, a sick baby. Yeah, he's going to give her a sick pussy, too. Right. If he, yeah. mm. Dookie Cooch. <laughs> yeah, Dookie Cooch, That's man. the ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> All girls who sleep with gay men... You got a dookie cooch. Straight up. Hell yeah. Can we give some examples? <laughs> yeah. If it's a weed coming out your pussy, that means it's dookie in there fertilizing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas right. cheating on you with a nigga. Right. I be wanting to call out these bitches marrying these obviously gay motherfuckers, but act like they don't know. They do know. I know. They act yeah. like they don't know. Yeah, they got to know that. By yeah. now, yeah. I mean, back in the day, you know, you'd be like, because it just wasn't, I don't know what it was. I can't say it wasn't rampant, because it was. Yeah. It was just hidden well. Ladies, if you're hitting your man with a strap, he's gay. Some is of that a fact? Silly. That's gay. If a is woman a is hitting a man with a strap, he's a homosexual. Or if you, if you, if you walk So a her, dude can't just say, I only let my woman do that. Hell no. <laughs> or how about, have you ever had a woman... Walking he got around, you, you putting it in the microwave, huh? Huh? Prancing around while she's exposed or trying to jump on you and you're like, oh, I'm tired. Wait, say it again, say it again. Say it again. Wait, have you ever turned down some? I have. Turned down? Because you were tired? Pussy, yeah. Wait, turned down pussy? Yeah. If I just finished fucking... Like if it's your lady or they're in there, you really would be... Oh, see, I'd be If suspect. I just finished fucking another bra and I come oh, on well, with my see, real bra... I was just going to give it to give that... Because, <laughs> oh, like, Darlene about, don't think like that. I'm not talking about whore dog men. No. You don't... Well, where's one? Look. 
<laughs> if you got a man who is tired and don't feel like fucking you, that mean one of three things. What he just thing? got through fucking. He think your pussy ain't shit. Right. Or he old and broke. Or old and broke like down. Like it's broken, right? Like that is very true. Yeah. Right. When you're young, your dick get hard when the wind blow. <laughs> you get older, you get older, and <laughs> you be like, bitch, now I don't feel like that fucking true. you. Abraham, almost, that true? Almost, really, yeah. That's almost got a tornado pregnant. <laughs> oh, what? You say when you're young, you get hard when the, you dick get hard when the wind blows. I said, no, I almost got a tornado pregnant. Right, I get it. <laughs> yeah, that's real spit though. The but wind you need a tornado to get you up. No, it's like, <laughs> uh-huh. you didn't say a breeze. No, a light breeze get me every time. Mm, no, I'm too late. A light breeze get my dick hard too every late. time. You needed a hurricane. If you shut the door too hard, the wind from the door will make my dick get hard. That's. Uh-huh. Well, that must mean you're healthy. Yeah, I'm healthy. <laughs> if your dick get hard when the wind blow, you still healthy. I'm gonna tell you what to do. You gotta take you gotta take a shot of ginger with cayenne pepper you every gotta morning. Gotta do stuff already? No, no, I'm saying this. Get, you gotta do well, a Craig, garlic. How old are you, Craig? I'm 38. Ooh, Craig yeah. is getting a little older, but not old enough to start breaking down yet. Nah. But see, this is what a lot of women don't know. There are guys out here who fuck all the time. All the time, like. This happens a lot. You'll live with a woman, and your woman you live with has her issues. Meaning, like, think you're gonna beg for his book. Right. So you done set up camp outside the house with bitches. Right. Your girl at home becomes the, oh yeah, you too, bitch. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but why? You know what I'm saying? What's that one for? Just for the keep the home front? Nah. Well, that might be. Some girls are for keeping the home front. Some wow. girls are there because you look at them as a companion, friend, more. It's just like with an old, broke down dog. Mm-hmm. When you got an old, broke down dog, you don't get rid of him because he old and broke down. That's your, that's your people. You, you see them through. <laughs> but it's a lot of bitches don't see their dog through. Right. They put the dog out. Yeah. Just because the dog broke down, I leave him at the vet. They take him to the vet. Yeah. Oh, his, his leg broke? Okay, I'll be back to get him when y'all said it. And never come back. <laughs> this is common. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Common. <laughs> when you get sick, if you ain't got bitches shut up already to replace the bitch who might not fuck with you when you're sick, right. you fucked. You put your trust in just an old average bitch. You done fucked your whole life up. That means you got to start over late in life. <laughs> but when you've been setting shit up the whole time, because you know how bitches do, Man. you, oh, oh, you go? Okay, all right, well, fuck it, all right. Damn, I sure hate to see you go. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as she leave, you're like, hey, I got more time for you now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this, this ain't nothing but the truth of how the game really go when you fucking with a motherfucker like out that. here like who, that. Who, who, who motherfucking <laughs> is wise to the behavior of people who lead with emotion. <clears throat> I'm saying like, even if it's a job, if it's a job and they act funny with you at your job, are you going to prepare for when they finally pull it? Mm. You already got something set up? Right. Or are you going to wait till that job fire you? And then start scrambling. And then be out here fucked up. Out here like, oh shit, how I'ma oh, how I'ma do this. <laughs> Damn, we got cameras, we got security cameras, we see everything, <laughs> boy. This motherfucker. It's a cold world out here, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buddy. Built bad motherfuckers out there in the streets. But anyway. No, I'm saying, I don't think I don't think look, look, let me let me tell you. I got a neighbor, man. My neighbor has been alone. I've been in LA since two thousand when the Lakers won their first championship with Shaq. That's when I moved to LA. Right. My neighbor, I ain't never seen him with a woman. Never. Right. And I talked to him one day. I was like, man, what the fuck is wrong with you? And this man told me shit that I know was the truth. That man said, what are you fucking crazy? He a little older, right? <laughs> I, bet he, I bet he about. Is he Jewish or Italian? What kind of accent was that, Corey? No, nah, he's from, uh, <laughs> he's from uh, right? Israel, he maybe oh, somewhere like that. Oh. Somewhere like that. Oh, okay. 
anyway, he told me, he was like, man, I, I, when I had a ball when I was younger. I, I used to ride my motorcycle. He said, I was a mm -hmm. motorcycle guy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You've heard I done that a lot yeah. of times, yeah. And he was like, man, I had so many women in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. And then as I got older, peace became more important than being around a woman. He said, I mean, I really hope people had a attention span to listen to this. He said, I can't argue every day. I can't be manipulated every day. I can't watch my back every day. I like being in a situation where there is no drama. And I was yeah. like, well, what about loneliness? He said, hell yeah, I get lonely. But I can't have the nonsense in my life. Yeah. He said, it comes with women. And I was like, wow. And he's the nicest guy. This is the nicest guy in the world. He, he's the neighbor. People be like, hey, can I leave my key with you? Yeah, yeah. Until well, I, yeah, because you know he has what I'm not shit else to do. He yeah. over there by himself. He, he, had a, he had a dog when I first moved in the building, a big dog. The dog Named got Sky. tired of him. The, di the dog died eventually. You know the dogs lived the dog 10 died years. died of loneliness. The dog died of old age. Yeah. He was, the dog was old. It was a girl. She was a big Malmute. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was Sweet as pie. They used to be walking. Only thing she ain't like was when the other big dog came around him. Yeah. That's the only time she'd get aggressive. But the point I'm trying to make is there is something to this no peace thing. In my opinion, there's something to this no peace thing. When you're around a woman, a woman wants to make what she thinks is her world, not all women, of course, I'm Thank sorry. Most women want their world and to transform you into what they think you should be. That is my experience around almost every woman I've been around. Right. To fucking conform me and well, I I just realized but that can I'm also not speak going to be you. conformed right what was you saying D? but that can also speak volumes about you yeah what do you mean though well because that's just what you either want or don't want or either that or you're just not picking or you just don't want to be with one person it well being with one woman is something that I find difficult I find that difficult just being with one woman. I mean, I'm alive and I know females of quality that I will have in my presence because mm -hmm. they're quality people. I'm not in a situation where I'm a, about to shut out quality people to make one bitch happy. I did that dumb shit before. <laughs> that is the most suckiest shit you can do in this world. Run away quality people like to make one bitch happy. <laughs> Do that dumb shit if you want to. I'm not saying it's... I have seen rare occasions where there are couples together where this man, this woman really have an honest mesh mm. and they're together and they're happy. I've seen that. It's rare though. You're it's right. rare. I rarely see couples who straight up, oh, I'm with her, she yeah. with me, mm -hmm. and we do each other right. right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we don't have a life of turmoil. I don't know a lot of people like that. And if that makes me, if that makes me, something wrong with me, uh, something no, wrong with me. I mean, I grew up in Robert Taylor Project. No, you but you're right saying? about that. There's far few in between uh, happy couples that supposedly are monogamous. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's very rare nowadays. So it's hard. You know, the Book of Thomas is a book that was taken out of the Bible. The Book of Thomas. Book of Thomas. And there's Here come a Craig Fett. Here we go. This is a real book. It was one of the it was in the Bible during the Council of Nicaea. They took it out, the Bible, amongst other books. The Book of Thomas says it is it is better to consume the, the lion than to be a fool and let the lion consume you. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, the truth is, is, is a lion that most people aren't willing to try to eat because it's bigger than them. You they don't want to take on the truth. It's too, it's, right. They it's want a fairy tale. They want to yeah. believe that, oh, the, the, the person for me is the person that's going to do what I think right. instead of the person for them being the person who really got your back. Mm -hmm. That's what I fuck with. I fuck with motherfuckers who got my motherfucking back because if you're around me, I got your back. I got your back. And things that I do 
around people I'm around, it shows that because I don't have motherfuckers after me. Even when motherfuckers leave me, <laughs> which right. I, I be banking on. <laughs> but I'm saying, I don't have enemies out here saying, oh, that old bullshit ass motherfucker did this. That old bullshit ass motherfucker did that. Right. Most of the people who get away from me is because I did not do what they wanted me to do. And there's nothing that I can do about that. Or them. That's why everybody, that's why people come and go, come and go. Look, s settle with whatever it is that you want. But too many people, I think, conform to being in relationships like that because they think it's... it's relationships just, like what? Like a, the one-on-ones, like just a, a solid relationship with two people, husband, wife, staying together. Some people do it just because they believe that that's best for them, like say a sports star actors, things like that, they'll do that just because they think, they have publicity people, managers telling them to do that. Do you know what I'm saying? What does it say? That's the book of Thomas. Somebody said I was, I was on some bullshit. I ain't on and no bullshit. And there it is, huh? What does I'm, it say? It says, Jesus said, blessed the lion which becomes man when consumed by man. Cursed is the man whom the lion consumes. Okay, I think I see okay. what he's saying. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so it, it, what I get interpreted from that is, is lying is fear. If you conquer whatever your fear is, a lot of people are fearful of the truth because the truth is something that they can't control. Motherfuckers lie because they want to control the atmosphere. They want to control your perception. They want to control another person and, and guide them to whatever mis you know, whatever, whatever it is they want them to see. But the truth is bigger than that. The truth is not your perception or my perception. It's just the truth. And people fight right. that. You know what I mean? I, I just think most the of the time people of intelligence figure out the truth later in life. It's what do you want? The truth mm -hmm. is something that is actually, I understand why people are scared of it. But if you are a person of morality, I think it's easier to accept the truth than somebody who's a straight dirtbag motherfucker and they whole life been conning and scheming, scheming yeah. people the whole time. They, mm -hmm. Those are the people who really have problems accepting the truth. And the, the, the con men and schemers that don't get called out are women who marry for money, Oof. marry mm -hmm. for uh, a place to stay, marry to not face the world as it is. They right. hide behind somebody. Men who do that get called out. Oh, what's the name for motherfucking men who lay up under a woman? You know what I'm saying? It's all oh. bad shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gigolo. Oh, not gigolo. Anybody that, that, all kind of shit. If yeah. you a man and you let a woman take care of you, you are deemed a dirtbag. Yeah, straight up. Well, but I'm telling you, <laughs> if you go up and down these blocks, hmm. And you find out, how did you acquire this home? You're going to find a whole bunch of motherfuckers manipulated their way to it. <laughs> Straight Majority up. Majority of the time. You never, yeah. <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, you dirty motherfucker. I remember yeah. that movie, No Country for Old Men. <laughs> yep. I remember, remember when he was in there with the gas one. station dude? That's a good one. Bro. No Country for Old Men. He yes. was in there with the gas station dude, the yeah. bad guy. He was like... <laughs> This shit was so funny. He was like, basically asking him, how did you get this place? And, and then, But the motherfucker was scared of him, so he told him. He was like, uh, my wife acquired this. He said, you married into this? <laughs> like, it's a piece of shit. It's really nothing. He like, you fucking married into this? Like, that's your hard-earned way into the, yeah. This yeah. is all you about? And there are people that ain't about nothing but that, and I ain't knocking yeah. them. Right. But what I am saying is this. Don't act like you took life head on. You manipulated through life. You manipulated love. You manipulated all kinds of things to get what you got. That's why you can't handle the world on your own. Mm -hmm. Like a woman, it's a lot of women out here. That's heavy right there. And I'm saying men too. Yeah. Of course men too. But you don't hear about the women. There's a lot of women who just cannot handle this world by themselves. And they're in their 40s and 50s because all they did is manipulate. Now that they're getting older mm -hmm. and it's harder for them, especially if they let their looks go, it's harder for them to get a new fool. They out there <laughs> fucked up. That's 
yeah. forget when a new yeah. yeah. Well, that's what it's called, a it's new true. fool. True. Most and, of the and, time, yeah. and if you look up her new, her old fool or whatever the ex guy she was with, most of the time, he's got a lineup of women like that. So he's a huge fool because he continually right. goes down that path. Yeah. And we're talking about a lot of athletes and famous people or people just with money in general, and they continue to do that. You go, why are you? Wait, what? I wish people. You got I, married again? Yeah, I, <laughs> married again. All that shit. Like, what's that motherfucker who on that TV show? Is his name Terrence Howard? Oof! Whoa! What is he that? What number? Marrying and little then have it bitches he like him and impregnating well, him. Been married a few times. Yeah, several. Uh, little bitches he like. Like, yeah. oh, so you like the bitch? Well, why you gotta commit your life to the bitch? <laughs> yeah, leave those children in that one and create. You can't just one. fuck like, a bitch and be like, got, baby. He got a bunch of kids. Yeah. I don't know that. I, I don't even know all his story. I just know he, he always he got a new it. bitch. He holding up in the air. Take like, the oh, so this the new bitch. You know I can't take you seriously, right, G? You're embarrassing me. And you know you look like the last one, right? Like they all uh, look alike. Yeah. I didn't know that about him. Yeah. Oh well, you know, it's just some. I ain't mean to call him out like I'm a bad guy. I'm just saying he was the first one that came to mind. Who not only, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with meeting new but people. But why get yourself but in that But why mix? do you commit right, that? Right. Right. And why do you get in that mix? You're getting you caught up. Right. Are like, you 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 played a pimp, nigga? That's the role I know him for. Hustle and flow. That's yeah. the shit. Even though it wasn't nothing but a little small time movie. Did well, you know. That's the shit where I be like, he killed he that shit. He did kill it. He did kill it, though, yeah. When he, he ran did. up on old yeah. girl Taraji, pushed that shit out. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it was memorable did. shit that happened yeah. in that movie. That's yeah, true. Great acting. That girl did. Taraji, you see how good yeah. an actress she is? And the other girl. Yeah. But see, that's a big problem. If the other girl was one of my, uh, she played on Black Jesus with me. We never talk about that, though, Corey. What? what? all these men that continually get themselves in those jams. It's like they don't want to be by themselves and they're afraid to like just get a woman that you, you think that marriage will lock you, lock them down and make them stay or take better care yeah. of you? Hell no. That's so no. deep, deep, but look. We never talk about them. The reason so There's many, so many, what well, a whole neighborhood is in chaos mm. is because the men of the village are gone. Oh man, that's what Yeah, we have so their dads, wow. The men of the village, have run for shelter. Long ago. Yeah. <laughs> they, they don't want to be captured by the colonizers. So you because I, the women negotiate what's going to happen with the colonizers. Yeah. So they learned that from their dads? Or they I'm didn't have a like, dad? And they most men are bitch raised. Straight up. If you look, when I say bitch raised, maybe I shouldn't say it like that. Because I want to reach people Don't have a with what I'm saying. Life. Most men are raised under the influence of their mother. Right. Mm. Who always doesn't she doesn't always have bad intentions by her sons. Right. But if you watch your mother, how it goes, that's how you are going to be and if your mama got a bitch made man up under her that's how you gonna be too yeah. i'm telling you this man because i talk to my son a lot i wasn't around my son i moved out here i sacrificed a lot for this shit i i mean like it was some crazy circumstances but me and my son are getting closer now because he's older yeah. and i explained to him you know what i'm saying your mother had great intentions by you your mother was a G for you. My son, mother, mm -hmm. she got his motherfucking back to a fault. You get what I'm saying? Because she will give him her works to make sure that he's straight. Right. Meaning like, even give him a debit card with money on it. Yeah. And he like 19, 29. I'm like, don't get that motherfucker no money like that. Let that motherfucker find his way. But she love him right. to a fault. Right. She'll give him shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I be like, God damn. But I be talking to him. I be telling him, oh, nigga, you know, you, you fucking up. Nigga, you getting older. You taking money from your moms. Nigga, you supposed to be on your journey to look out for her later on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Earn something. To right. That's your mom. mom's. You supposed to be like, mom, you straight? I'm talking about not now. You still a young, you still a young bug. You ain't found your way in the world. But I explained to him, this is the time now when you journey in the world and find out who you are, mm -hmm. yeah. 
And what kind of G you gonna be? Yeah, because he could have right. started working. At six <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? You can't. Mama, I want to get this. Mama, I want to get that. Or keep accepting from your mother. How about that? Yeah. Try and earn something and be proud be, of yourself. Be something. out there fucked up. Yeah. Because if you are who I know you are, because you my son, you're going to find a way. Mm. It's good to be out there fucked up. I remember I couldn't even get my hair cut at one time. Mm. I ain't had no motherfucking money. I've mm. been there. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been there. Wasn't that the best time of your life, though? Yeah. yeah. I'll be like, nigga, I got to, I don't know how and to we do made this. It, and we made it happen with no Google, no cell phones, no, right. no yeah. car service. You know how much no, rent yeah. is in Los Angeles, California? Mm -hmm. Man, I moved out here. I was scared as fuck. But I knew this is what I had the fuck to do. That's right. I was like, it's time. I got to get the fuck up out of the nest. Because Chicago, I could live with a bitch until I'm 50, 60 years old. I probably would have been, <laughs> I I been in better shape. Yeah. In Chicago, I had comrades. And we was hoopers. We used to go play in the 20 and under league, 30 and under league, yeah, 40 and over so league. Life. That's short that. life. Where you just still get it in. Oh, and you, man, I know like, niggas yeah. still in shape and everything. Yeah. Broke to the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ain't got no diabetes, ain't got nothing, but, but pop they, the fuck off. Yeah, yeah. Talk about, hey, nigga, let me work you out. Hell <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. no. You gonna need a ride home every day, yeah. nigga. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I miss that, man. Driving, yeah, man. Driving around looking for hoop games. Right. Trying to find NBA niggas to play against in the summertime. Mm, 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 hey, I miss that. Them was the best times. Mm. Somebody mm. say women, uh, what's that? J. Rob say music, women music. use their beauty to deceive men. And you know what? The only thing about it, when you have been deceived by beauty, you have to understand you're a weak motherfucker. Yep, I was gonna yeah. say, it's all, like the thing shit. about it is, it's always your fault as a man, even if it ain't. That's a part of manhood, it's accountability. Hey man, look, so ain't nothing in this world like fucking a bad bitch who you like. Ain't nothing more satisfying than fucking a bad bitch you like. Right. But if you lay up and become unsuccessful just because you lay. Take Donald Trump, for instance. Mm -hmm. You could tell he's been funded his whole life. Oh, yeah. Ugh, <laughs> that ain't no man. Hell no. That motherfucker don't stand on shit. <laughs> Everybody around him. Get the fuck away from him after a while. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He talks like, like a that. Kid. He gets mad like a child. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers like that, man. I can't fuck with no mother. Yeah, I can't have a motherfucker that. like that around me. All my homies like that, I give them that and get the fuck away from them. Yeah, me. yeah. Real spit. <laughs> yeah. Real spit. But them type of niggas be entertainment for me. <laughs> yeah, they gotta exist for sure. I get what you're saying. Because they be so worried about trying to show you that they're more deserving than the next motherfucker, but they, they take, when they should be focusing on getting their own shit popping, yeah. mm -hmm. they feel like being around the niggas who got it going on is enough. Like, nah, man, mm -hmm. it ain't a, I, I know that a lot of people say, if you look around you, you are who your core group of people are. I get that. You want to be around successful people. He has people. no stability. No, but no at some, stable around. Right, yeah. but at some point when you be around motherfuckers who got shit going on, they start looking at you like, why this motherfucker always asking, what the fuck you got going on, nigga? Mm -hmm. Why you always, you know what I mean? Why you always asking me to, you know what I mean? So, like, that's another thing, man. You got to really know your limits, you know what I'm saying? Like, some people will allow you to learn from them, mm -hmm. but you just got to observe. You yeah. can't be, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. can't just, you know, you, you know, it, it's just levels to this shit. Every, everything in life is levels to, and your girl that you're dealing with or your bra you're dealing with, she know you if you're not on that level and you're perpetrating mm -hmm. a fraud. You know, yeah. so. Yeah. Well, let me tell you like this. That movie 300 is really some imaginary shit because he went to war with 300 real motherfuckers. Right. You don't know 300 real motherfuckers. <laughs> nah. One could be in there to Not in America. Sneak away 300 away. motherfuckers that's yeah. solid on Got one accord yeah. will die for the man next to him. Yeah. Now, you don't know that. Not here. We've been <laughs> bitch made you out here. three men. <laughs> right. Hey, like that third. movie in America will be three. We gotta hold the hot gates with three motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna hold them hot gates, nigga. You gonna get that heat. You be looking suspect of both of them. <laughs> if you got three motherfucking real niggas that's solid shit. with you, Damn. you beat the game. 
Yeah. You, you're not a real man until you swung on your girl and you found the words to get her to stay. Here That's we go. You're a real man. You hey. know what I'm saying? You, you know, know. Hey boy, you want me? You, you finna have me pull up this meme I made oh, no. <laughs> about if a nigga hits you and you ain't bleeding or wounded, he really trying to work shit out with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a motherfucker. It's like in the wild, in the wild with animals, they do that. Yeah. They might fight, but they don't try to kill each other. No. But they let a motherfucker know you yeah. fucking up. Right, 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 right. Out right. here, <laughs> you can't let nobody know shit. You right. just. Yeah. Got to tolerate they shit yeah. or call the police and let them figure it out <laughs> and come in your house and ask your, 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 your 13 year old son where's his ID. <laughs> this is what happened when bitches call the police to the house. <laughs> I'm going to say 300 Roman bussy boy. <laughs> anyway, no, nah, I'm just saying, man, it's, it's not easy, man. It's not mm -hmm. easy. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. A woman asking a man why versus a woman finding the reason why, that should be a class. Right. You asking somebody why instead of really getting the reason why, right. trying to figure it out. Right. It's like cheating on your math test. Mm. You, instead of figuring it out, you just gonna ask somebody and go off that. You don't want to do the work. Them, mm -hmm. right. You want me to do the work, <laughs> and then if it ain't the, if I don't get the right answer, it's still my fault. I've so, been told I can go <laughs> elsewhere. Right? Yeah. Even if it's late in life, yeah. It's women out here. They be late in life. They still will start over rather than be wrong. Figuring it out, working it out with a motherfucker that has proven they got their back. And let me tell you why they do that. Why? Because they ain't never want you in the first place, man. I'm yeah. here to tell you, man. I look at that shit with my good brother, Dr. Dre. I do not understand why a woman wants to bring you down as she go head on this late in life. All the millions of dollars y'all done spent together, mm. why does she want to bring you down as she leave? Because I found out that he didn't have to give her all that money that she was talking about for security and everything. Mm. Right. And I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of glad. I was like, because it's not right that a black man is supposed to deplete all his earnings because y'all broke up. Right. 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 No, that ain't right at all. We never get paid enough money to have true wealth in America. And now mm -hmm. because we breaking up, I'm supposed to deplete all these funds I made and chop it up with you and a lawyer? No. Yeah. There's a difference between making someone give you something or waiting to see what happens and see what they give you. Like, did you earn that? Yeah. Nobody wants to do that. All of a sudden, it's like, I'm going to try and force you to give me something. Right. Hmm. I saw that Tim B, but I just didn't have time to repeat it. What was it? Uh, is it Tina B? Oh, uh, uh, oh there it is. Because they not who they want you to be. Hmm. They not who they want you to be. I mean, oh, have you yeah. thought about that? That's some heavy shit. Right, that was, that was some heavy shit. Because they're not who they want you to be. Right. Ooh. That's deep. Ooh. I saw that. I be checking y'all chat room goons out. That's why I had that feed. I fuck with y'all. There's some smart motherfuckers in the world. I run into them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ran into my man. Uh, what's my man who make the, a lot of the beats for us? He was at Virginia X. Beach Funny Ball. Yeah. X. X was there with his wife. Love you, brother. One of these days, I'm gonna figure out a way to get you out here and sit on the show. Yeah, that man. would be nice. Yeah, you know, I stopped fucking with. Me. I ain't know X was a light skinned nigga. Oh really? <laughs> I don't either. I don't know why I thought he was. I know, right? I was like, oh, red nigga. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, X. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I got a song, Terrence. and you, Craig, need to hear it. Okay. Who said that? Terrence, Terrence Richard Richardson. Terrence Richardson. Okay. That's why we finna set up this VMO. Because I have time during the week where I can do requests for people. Like, if you're breaking up with your girl, I'll be like, fuck you, bitch. Look fly, I don't need you no more, funky hoe. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I can say that for you. Or we can set up some shit where we listen to some music because some of this shit might be good. Yeah. You play your <laughs> shit on the show. But if you're ready to break up with your girl or something and you want me to say it loud, on a VMO or something. <laughs> hey, nigga, we finna set all that shit up, nigga. Fuck. 
You get ready to break up with your dude. Oh, yeah. and Cameo. Vimeo's for the show, but Cameo, you're talking about Cameo. Cameo, I mean. Yes, Cameo. Corey's, on, Corey's coming next. I'm already on it. I just got on it, by the way. Oh, okay. I'll say later on it. Yeah. That's not. I got I got rock beats. Tom Jones. They send, he got they rock send, beats? We want to hit him rock beats, dog. Are yeah. they sending him to the email? Tom Jones. What's the email, D? It's cholcomb5150show at gmail. Dot com and just make sure in the notes that you put that it's you know a song and that it's been cleared. Right. You can't play. Yeah, we, we get them right. There's a gang of them. I opened the email up there. I was like, my God, it's nothing but songs. That's great. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, we are gonna get to D shit. Uh, I just gotta ask one more question. And okay. Darlene, this I'm is a question. I'm actually looking for something. But go ahead. Hold I on. be Hold thinking on. of questions to ask a girl. Okay. Now, this is some Corey Holcomb shit, uh -oh, but look, what does dry pussy during sex mean? What does that mean? Does that mean what anything mean in particular, dry? or does it mean it's a whole bunch of reasons that that, that could happen? Yeah, because it's, it's built on healthy bacteria in the walls of the vagina, so it could just be that the person, something's going, something's not right. Doesn't that necessarily mean age? Believe me, there can be young girls that's not, and there's, there's something wrong, or it smells bad. And that's all a bacteria issue. Smell bad, so that fishy shit is bacteria. Oh, that is not, it's not supposed to smell bad like that, no. It ain't supposed to smell, I mean, pussy no. has a smell, but it ain't supposed to be. Exactly. What supposed smell pussy good? It's like, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, That's it's, unhealthy, you know when it's unhealthy. Yeah. Look, he said, yeah. yeah. Uh oh, that's not good, uh, Craig. Pussy, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't got fumigated out of a few rooms, man, why? Well, you better tell her to take yeah. some probiotics. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. something. Uh, uh -huh. What's it smell like? Um, <laughs> like if you leave your water, like put water on your palm and you let it sit and your hand gets soggy. How long you let it sit on your hand? And do you have a clean palm all the time? You have a clean palm and then yeah. you smell a soggy palm. So your, your hand stink. You smelled your hand. No, so if you leave, <laughs> it's if, okay, Craig. We <laughs> fucking with you. If you leave oh. your hand in a hot bowl of water. Oh, God. And you sprinkle a little bit of cumin in it. Oh God! What and the And then you world? dry it off. What, that's you what the pussy, taco? Yeah, that that's what like pussy supposed taco. to smell like. It's supposed to smell like cumin and soft hand. <laughs> oh my God! That's hilarious. It's supposed to smell like yeah, cumin and hot hand. Oh. But all kinds of people get all kinds of smells. That's true. That's what I have figured out. I know when something's wrong and when something just, oh, this bitch smell like this. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Or the combination of the action together. Because if you've had some friction and action with that person too at that moment, that could create its own combo that. Girls, girls, Ooh. girls Ooh. talk about, Ooh. girls talk about dick size. This happens. But what guys And don't, they lie about it. Yeah, they lie about they it. They lie about it. Oh, he was huge. And dick size please. don't matter. All these lesbians. And not only that, some of those huge ones they Wait, always no. talk about wanting. That's ridiculous. That's 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 not many painful. how much pussy bump bumping porn I've watch. <laughs> it ain't no dick involved in pussy bumping porn. So dick size don't mean nothing. And, and you don't want those big those big old Wait, wait, say that one more time, Chris. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, because I thought about getting my shit extended a little bit. Oh, you stop. Because I'm, I'm about seven and a He's, half. He said but, dick size don't mean nothing to me. That's what made me laugh. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm just saying, when a chick talking like, about she uh, want 12 uh, inches of dick, I know I ain't got backs. 12. backs. No, I'm just I know I ain't got right. 12, but nah. See, but that's ridiculous. See, yeah. I don't even know why guys uh, trip off that too, because that's way too, that's too much. That's not enjoying. No. Okay, you don't enjoy but for that. some people, D, we always well, have they to must remember, be some empty it's cannons, different, yeah. different strokes for different folks with I sex. I guess. That's what we need to understand during sex. Yeah. I have, through my time as a man, I have found it's different strokes for different folks. Right. Just like relationships, Some pussies exactly. do this, some pussies do that, some right. dicks do this, some dicks do that. But I salute, there are girls out here who pussy is naturally gooey and wet all the time. That's beautiful. And I'm just saying, it's like nobody a, talks about this on Dr. Phil. Yeah. Why is this something that is never said? Cardi put it out there for you, Corey. <laughs> are you saying Cardi's titties? No. What? Oh, shit. They fake as fuck? It made me, no, it made me want to fuck the dog. Shit out of Cardi. Oh, man. Cardi. Okay. Oh, bless She a real rat. I hope you're watching, Cardi. You're going to give me some pussy one day. Girl. Oh, my God. You're going to get tired of this. Oh, where'd it go? She going to get tired of who? Of who and what? She what? would, uh, with, oh, boy. She, she can be with whoever she wants. Oh, really she right about Cardi that. is a street bitch. Oh. She hustling. That's how she, I know I'm a hip, that, hip, that, hip that one day. That pussy is in the game, nigga. What the Except fuck? 
they making it seem like the dude is the cheater because that's what society does. If you think Cardi B, <laughs> stop like a girl with a song called Wet Ass Pussy is just gonna fuck with one thing, you done lost your mind. Nigga, her them that, titties look destroyed. Her titties oh look like God. a vo like a volcano from space. What is that? <laughs> That's the areola, nigga. That shit is. That is. That, that was, ain't no areola. That that's that's Wilson <laughs> off that movie. Uh, no, no boy amazing. got stranded. Oh my god, no! I got. What is that movie though? That he no, got stranded. No, I'm talking about where your oh boy was god. on the. Oh my god! You know what that is? Was on the desert what is island. It? Is that a rash? Uh, that is pan dulce, the big brown piece. That's uh -huh. like that Mexican sweet bread. That's Wilson. The football that he turned, I mean, the soccer ball with the blood stain, the he in. turned into, um, oh my God. that's what her titty looked like, Wilson. Her titty looked like a volcano. What's the name of that face. movie, y'all? When Tom, Castaway. Castaway. <laughs> I swear to God, Craig just showed me a titty with a Wilson face on it. That don't look like no Wilson That was on that's the ball. Scary. Yeah, that, that looks like a piece of Mexican sweet bread. But I'm saying I to like each it. his own. Exactly, because I'm like, what, Craig? You, you, you take her down, for sure. What oh do you mean? But God. I'm looking at her. That is not a bad bitch. Nah, she a strong six and three quarters. <laughs> 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 strong. Like, if you got a bad bitch, I mean, like, oh, that ain't what I that ain't what I meant to say. What I've said is. So we said, "Where's the pic at?" I don't think we can put it up. Was it on her Instagram? If, we, if so, we could. Somebody sent it to me. Uh, oh, I, I don't okay. know what it was if on. Send it, it to me. I'll find a way to get it to the streets. All right. You know what? <laughs> oh my God! Because look, they're all asking. The, you can't do that. And not the show titty. It. The titty look like Wilson. I look. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fuck with all kind of damage shit. He's going to look like a bloody look, hand on a soccer ball. My I, I, God. Let me tell you something, man. God has blessed me to have seen beautiful women. Mm -hmm. Beautiful women. No, I'm talking about, I done had about three girls in my life with no flaws. Face everything. <laughs> Face, foot, ass, titties, titties. Like Bernie Mac said. <laughs> <laughs> Everything on him was on point. That's why I can't complain about nothing in life. I be like, God damn, God looked out for me while I was alive. I had rough years. I had a year when I didn't have a dime in my pocket and didn't know where the next one was coming from. I didn't live like that before. Yeah. Now, I'm just saying, it ain't like I'm rich or nothing, but God damn it. I attract street bitches who would love to be around a nigga like me so they can avoid doing what they have to do in this world to take care of themselves. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, but you say it with pride. <laughs> I'm saying like, and they get mad at me because I know why you like me, bitch. <laughs> I can help you duck yourself. <laughs> Who is wait. this? That's Nicki Minaj getting her pussy ate by a girl. Okay, Craig be fine as shit. You know what, Craig? Who's now, Nicki Minaj, in my, I like the way her face look. But I seen her body before the work. Yeah. Did you find? Did you see that picture? No, she Aww, was skinny in the morning. She was scrawny. Yeah, she was scrawny yeah. looking. Yeah. But it's a lot of girls out here who have gone and found doctors to help them with their presentation look. <laughs> the presentation look is before you feel the titty and realize what it really is. Or feel the ass and feel like, you know, you oh, this ain't no real, eh? <laughs> or like the girl who I know in <laughs> Oakland who ass looked real because the surgery was done so good. But I see the two little holes <laughs> on each side. Two little holes on each side, I'm like, <laughs> This ain't no coincidence, bitch. You ain't scrape yourself like that. This is, <laughs> this is surgery. <laughs> but it looked good. And she yeah. eat pussy too. She used to act like she didn't eat pussy. Then one day she told me, hun, a homegirl be fucking around. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I knew you ate pussy because uh, you got a butchy look to you. Uh, Always <laughs> keep a haircut low. Um, um. And when she work out, she only do shoulders. 
<laughs> that bitch like, look like them, like them cats. Or she that was gonna beat up Tom on Tom and Jerry. Or she does chest trying to push yeah, it down. She trying to try to get the titties down. Yeah. I might, yeah. I might get some presentational work done. <laughs> Cause all it is is the presentation. So when people see you, they be like, ooh. But then after they get to know you, they be like, oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's presentational work. Right. Not no deep shit that'll fuck you up. I might go somewhere and get lipo, get my gut gone, because it's hard to keep it off. Yeah. Like you run, do good for motherfucking three weeks, and then it be low. Then all you do is eat bad for a couple of weeks, and you be like, this motherfucker back. So you yeah. got to fuck off some money. So you can go get some bunch of work done and then just get back to eating. I got the money to fuck off, D. Well, but look here. Tori's going to get his ass done. <laughs> 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 you. Fuck you, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I'm just saying, it's like I'm getting older. And if I'm not going to have the discipline to get the shit off, fuck it. But see, I ain't got no shame. If I get liposuction or some shit, I'll be like, I got that fat sucked out of my stomach. Because, like, I've seen people who do this and the weight never come back to the stomach. Yeah. I see bitches, so it goes I be like, you a fat bitch, but your stomach flat. I hate you, yeah. wide bitch. They neck always tell them. You can tell somebody. They neck. Yeah, they neck be sagging. When they were big before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they look the, like Spike the Bulldog <laughs> on Tom and Jerry. Real spit, though. That's right. some funny shit. Yeah, they need a neck, sir. Neck and neck. Yeah, because the fat got to go somewhere. Waist, huh? Real small at the waist, because they had it all sucked out and snatched, and then it goes up. Like yeah, <laughs> bitch be built like the Tasmanian devil. Yeah. <laughs> That's a joke I had. But this bitch is out here who have gotten surgery uh, and they life changed. Sure. I'm talking about, I know personally of bitches who done, you know, they, they used to be motherfucking refrigerator built bitches and then they went and got that surgery mm. and they married now and all that shit. I was like, wow, that shit worked. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no this no bitch couple. is fucking at her wedding now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this yeah. bitch used to be a 56 inch zenith built bitch. <laughs> but you gotta watch it, because if that was your kind of get down before in life, like you looked a certain way, you are like one biscuit away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, you, you're gonna have to stay hard on yourself, because. Well, look, I put it like this you do it. Or you continue you, to have surgeries and just look really messed up because you had too many done, like their faces. Well, we, we, I have seen that too, where people had too many surgeries and shit right. and they look like fucking monsters. But I'm just saying, it's like, at a certain time in life, you might want to try something drastic. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Try something drastic. You know what I'm saying? If you yeah. been your whole life it ain't went the way you wanted to go, True. Yeah. fuck it, do, do some it. drastic shit. Bad built motherfucker. <laughs> you, know you can't get it together, fuck it. Try it. Cause I'm telling you. I, and I and, and I really be happy for the people I've seen who got their body right. changed in surgery. Right. And then they find happiness. I'll be wanting to ask the person, like, do you know how this bitch really feels? Oh, built? they had to. Come on. <laughs> what are they never going to show? You know if you get this bitch pregnant. What are they never going to show them old pictures? You're going to have an astro <laughs> man. So they're going to be like, wait, I've never seen any any teenage or 20-year-old pictures of yourself. You just joined the CIA to get her motherfucking <laughs> yeah. old identity erased. Yep. You're like Obama. They call it swiping. They Obama's swipe real name, head. from what we understand, is um, Barry Sutor. That's his real name? That's his real name. Barry Suter. Yeah, I just watched the movie, Barry. Yeah. Barry was yeah. good, yeah. And uh, now he's Barack Obama. He got all that shit. He was he got the, he got the real hookup. How you get the real hookup? I think I want to change my name to um, Sir Slap a bitch a lot. <laughs> I want it to be my real name. I'm gonna give, I think I'm going to get my teeth done. Let me see your teeth, Greg. Yeah, but see, no. <laughs> you see how you smile like? Yeah, but no, why? They got character. In other words, I think when they're too chicklety, like yeah. they look like like just straight up. You ain't up, got like, no fucked up smile, Gene, no. but I know what you're saying. Exactly. I think they look. But them bitch said something and made your feelings feel No, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> Fuck you, your teeth they fucked up. So. Uh -huh. They mm -hmm. told me my bottom row going to start falling out. No, you just you probably have to remove some in the back. That's like, my yeah. see? I right. never did anything to my teeth. 
And but Colum I said if you did, if I did, it would, it would just, it, it's character. You know, yeah. like it just looks. I don't, I don't want to mess with them. Yeah, no. Nice. Your smile is nice, but that's, it's just that, uh, that one time when people catch you like this, that. <laughs> just <like Yeah>. that. <laughs> no, because I have a big, big teeth and I have a lot of I like my mouth just is huge. <laughs> the, the Anderson Pack smile. <laughs> you talking about the singer? Yeah. Oh, I've never paid attention to his teeth, but I like his music. Hi, Anderson. Yeah, he dope as a motherfucker. Right. <laughs> hater. Yeah, I hate anyway. Yes, you are. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, that picture of Nicki Minaj getting a pussy, now that turned me on. Yeah, that was yeah. That oh, Wilson Lord. titty ain't do shit for me, yeah, Nicki. Right. Oh, yeah, Craig, bless your heart. She looked like an right. ex stripper bitch, though. But she uh, is. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, it, like, if I, if I was around her kicking it with her, I'd be like, she's a stripper, stuff. <laughs> I just say yeah, that. Like, yeah. Just like when you in Atlanta, most bitches in shape and they over 30 something. You be like, bitch, you a stripper? They'd be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the milkshake bar on Thursday at four. They gave me the four o'clock in the afternoon sip, but I'm gonna make it tonight. You're only a failure as a stripper if you're not fucking your clients. Stop playing with your pussy. It ain't no such, ain't no halfway crook. So you saying if you just stripping and not fucking, you losing? Yeah, you you basically a hoe with no courage. Oh, God. That's, now, that <laughs> is the most well put shit no, it's not. I have ever heard Craig of course say. You would think because that. if you're a stripper, you fucking. You got to be. You're not going to keep telling motherfuckers, no, I don't do that. <laughs> Bitch, coming home, you've been naked. Niggas motherfucking looking at your pussy hole. Oh, <laughs> and you about to come home with $59? Oh, well, you could have came home. And this nigga said he'll give you 200 to fuck you. 100 to fuck you. You go, at the while, you're going to be like, you know what? It's Christmas time and my kids <laughs> deserve it. <laughs> my children deserve it. <laughs> come on, give me the dick. Right, it's gonna oh, happen. Yeah, you yeah. can't avoid what's the you can't hide from yourself. <sighs> Fucking just showing your pussy when this motherfucker gonna give you some money you ain't gotta pick up. John off the said floor. a stripper with morals. Stripper with morals, right. Mm -hmm. I hate them girls who be like, oh, I don't get down like that. Lying, they bitch. pussy is right here in my face. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I'm looking at your <laughs> Hanging lips. One guy said, remember when strippers used to call themselves dancers? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dancer. <laughs> remember they a lot of people You're like, a whore who's looking to be motivated. That's what you are. A stripper is a whore who's looking to be motivated <laughs> to go and sit on the dick instead of just showing it. Yeah. Mm. Hit me off, bitch. I want to fuck you. I don't like you. Most yeah. strippers stink. Most strippers think. Yeah, they be out there sweating all day. They get tired of keeping their pussy clean and shit. <laughs> I'm like, fuck these right. niggas. They going to get some funky pussy tonight. Yeah, they That's what they be thinking. They hate to see niggas happy. Mm -hmm. That's some real I shit. I never thought of that. I wonder what their mental is about men. Like, do they actually, ugh, yeah. do they write is again. But then they're taking their money. It's like, ugh. They do they write strippers again. up when their pussy stank? Do they got like an HR they department? They need to have that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, like the customers complain. The, uh, like God Tory said, one day this bitch was dancing with him the and there was some shit on his shirt. Yeah, I would say it again. God Tory said the bitch left some shit on his shirt. Oh, oh. oh wow. He was like, I believe him. Because I know what these stripper bitches are. What's fucked up Maybe is like bitches Corey. getting written up for, like you said, right. stanking and shit like that. Yeah. They need to write up the ugly stripper bitches for asking you more than once. Right. <laughs> you want to laugh now, so. Right. Like, they'll come over there. You'd be like, no, nah, I'm waiting on the pretty bitch to get through oh, over there. Oh, please. You would... And then five minutes later, you sure you don't want that dance? <laughs> 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 Just took it fresh enough. You should use dish soap because that's probably baby oil or glitter or something. I believe him. If he said it was shit, it was shit. And the best oh, thing to oh, use on uh, that. It's peroxide. Peroxide, yeah. get that shit out. Peroxide? Yeah. What's some peroxide on stain? Oh, doo doo stain? Doo doo stain. That peroxide go motherfucking bubble up around that shit. <laughs> that peroxide be like, fuck this, get off my nigga's shirt. That's funny in a motherfucker. <laughs>
Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get to the part of the show that will never be sponsored. This is D's Loops Talk, Talk about, about Bullshit. All right, now. Uh, well, of course, we want to congratulate the Lakers. Yeah. 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 Anthony right, Davis LeBron. was trying to cry, but it was like, motherfucker, ain't no fans. Get your trophy and shut the fuck up. <laughs> In the bubble. <laughs> and Snoop displayed his new tattoo after the win. Uh, he got a new tattoo on his forearm, and it has uh, the late Kobe Bryant's initials at the bottom, a championship trophy, the team's logo, and the gates of heaven. And, of course, uh, the homie... Mr. Cartoons tatted him up, so anyway, it's that's nice. Dope, man. Yeah, it's nice looking, but he R. went and P. got Kobe. that right away. I know. Rest in peace, Kobe. That is kind of interesting, right, that it all happened like that this year. Do niggas get tattoos on their ankles and feet? I don't know. I, I, I ain't got no tattoos. Yeah, I, I never really remember. I, I saw that. a nigga with a tattoo on his ankle. But just one, like, like a butterfly? I was like, so a nigga put that on you? <laughs> I was like, nigga, did you get... Yeah, but your when they foot get but, stuck but they, but by they a needle, the, did a nigga hold your foot and do your? But the foot? The how about when they get all those low did. ones? They get the ones all on the, the abdomen really low and everything. That's right. Kind of near so the if you got an abdomen tattoo, does that make you suspect? <laughs> That's near the groin. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, congrats again. Um. So your guy Herschel Walker. Is well, fuck one, shit, you about to I say. know. <laughs> He is once again back in the news. So after putting out a video on his Twitter supporting President Trump, he said that he did it because he's tired of all these celebrities claiming that black people are oppressed in the U.S. He said he's been hearing from a lot of people saying that we're oppressed. And he said um, he's here to tell you that... We're not, meaning black folks. Shut the fuck up, Ursula Walker. He continued with, we African Americans are oppressed. Um, well, they say it, but we're not. We can do whatever we want to do. And that being in the Olympics, he saw so many other countries that had envy of the United States. And then he also urged his followers to vote for Donald Trump. In closing... He said, we're the greatest country in the world. Let's not throw our country away. We're not oppressed. We're blessed. Don't forget that last, um, and also, you guys, don't forget that last year, um, Herschel was appointed co-chair of the President's Council on Sports. So he's got a position Man, on never... sports, fitness, and nutrition. Anyway, it sounds like he's protecting his job, this really. Thing, I know I can't whoop Herschel, man. I know I can't whoop <laughs> But fuck you. <laughs> you ain't got to whoop a nigga. That's some bullshit, man. I got that goddamn it. I ain't, I'm not in shape like I used to, nigga. I'm going to warn you because I'm a gentleman. Nigga, get the fuck back. I'm not going to fight you, nigga. Get yeah, back. Yeah, oh, you going to keep blocking. I mean, if I fire on Shoot the, under, I... the, under the, under the, what, under the knee, yeah. that ain't a murder charge. No. That's something else. Yeah. That's that get the fuck up off me charge. Herschel is an alien. He, he got muscles in his neck, says. yeah. But if I hit him, if I catch him, I can get rid of him. But, but I wouldn't want to kill him. I just no. want, him, I want him to be limping because I shot him under the shin. Right. And be like, now what the fuck? Didn't I tell you to stop, nigga? Yeah. Oof. Pop his ass. One I, day. No. I just don't get it, man. I don't get why certain black folks think that they can speak for us when they don't know what the fuck they talking about. Clown niggas everywhere, man. You, you niggas, ain't gonna never stop it. Most of you celebrity niggas are too disconnected from everyday struggle to be commenting on it. It's some. It's some. If you ain't been the only black person on a job, you don't. You shut the fuck up. I done been on jobs where it was. 200 employees and five of us was black. Mm. That's racism. That's right. oppression. Yeah. Stop speaking on everyday life struggles if you, if, you ain't, if, you ain't, uh, if you ain't been on that level in a while, man. There's some people going through some real shit, man. There's people who can't see their kids because they ain't got, you know what I'm saying? Cause money. Money. Yeah. It's niggas who, you know what I'm saying? It's just real everyday life shit. And I'm tired of celebrity niggas speaking on this shit, bro. Like, it's very irritating. You, you basically calling it, yeah, yeah, you basically calling us liars. You're basically calling the everyday black man who out here struggling, trying to do the right thing, mm -hmm. and can't make ends meet a liar. True you're calling my mom a liar. My mom has a uh, motherfucking master's degree. The whole time I was growing up, she could never, she could never get a job because she was overqualified. Mm. She worked temp jobs my whole childhood. You can't tell her that racism don't exist. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That fool is trying to get paid under that whole cabinet. Under that cabinet. He's trying to we gotta start See, when they introduced black folks to the Bible when they first brought us here, 
the real nigga slaves was like, man, get that bullshit out of here. Damn. But it was goof ass niggas like Herschel Walker was like, well, they hung him. Right. So he probably could be our friend because he know nah. what it feel like. Right. Get your goof ass out of here, nigga. You making a fool out of yourself and to anybody who motherfucking is down with the truth. You embarrassing yourself, yeah. Herschel yeah. Walker. Now go run, nigga. Go run, for, for, run for Trump. You used to run for the NFL. Now run for Trump. Suck ass, nigga. Yeah. Yo, suck ass out False of here. False flagging ass, nigga, man. Right, yeah. God, that shit irritates me, man. Yeah, I get it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm new to this entertainment shit. I've been doing it about 12 years, but I've only been full time about a year. Mm -hmm. So I'm not that far removed from the everyday struggle. And when I tell you that it, you know, you remember when you was in the workforce, mm -hmm. it's some foul shit going on oh, yeah. in America when it comes to just regular basic employment, trying you know to what I'm saying? Craig, I would never it. survive in the workforce. Mm -mm. That yeah. motherfucker at the job that everybody be ready to check, right. I'll be checking him. <laughs> yeah, right. Shut the fuck up, bitch ass. <laughs> Yo, shut your white ass up. Real spit. And they'd be like, oh, Corey got I fired again. I got fired at yeah. my first job that paid some real money because I got into it with one of the hillbillies. Right. See? I talked about this shit. Next day, my key card ain't work or nothing. <laughs> yeah. I went up in there. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I ran to the front gate like, hey, what's up, Corey? So I'm going to get your stuff out the locker and oh. we're going to talk to you over here. In the uh -oh. little stuff. <laughs> Just like my, that. My, my last good job, I was working with my uncle. My uncle is one of them niggas he like my dad where he up every day at 3 30 out the house by four ain't never been late to work the best employee they got so he hired me uh -oh. this is a teamster job i'm, oh, make, oh, I'm, oh, I'm oh. making damn near 40 dollars an hour right Great, best paying you regular ain't fuck it up for your uncle did you no but i <laughs> couldn't handle it because i couldn't handle the whole shit that they was doing to that nigga because oh, he was the boss. Oh, saw it, right. Every he had day cigarette in his mouth. Oh. Man, we better get your ass in here to work, motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck you supposed to do, motherfucker? I've been uh. here 30 years trying to hook you up. Yeah. You went here with an opinion, nigga? Yeah. I'm, man, I, man, it, it's just... <laughs> It's tough to do the right Damn, thing. Damn, that is, yeah. No, it's I tough know. to do the right thing. It's Cutting the brake lines on, on yeah. trucks and shit like that. <laughs> Motherfucker cut the brake lines on my truck. You know, the air brakes on a diesel truck is what stop it. Diesel trucks be so heavy, if you ain't got no air, you hit those, Damn, you, and you try to hit the brakes, you're you going to kill yeah. yourself and whoever's mm -hmm. in front of you. I had my airlines cut twice. That's messed up. Where if I didn't do what's called a pre-trip inspection. And you was light-skinned. Nigga, and I was light-skinned. Here we go. Anyway. All right. <clears throat> Shut the so, fuck up, Mercer <clears throat> Walker. So Nipsey Hussle's family just filed a lawsuit, and yes, you're hearing this right, against the Crips LLC. Yes, the Crips have gone corporate. What the fuck? Who no, filed the lawsuit? Nipsey Hussle's family. Niggas suing the Crips. <laughs> yeah, they did. They, they set up as an LLC, and they are suing the Crips over the rights to the Hustle Continue slogan. In the court documents, his family claims that the Crips organization filed a few trademarks for the phrase last year, shortly after his death. After the family first discovered some, they discovered some shady things happening with the trademarks, the Crips LLC claimed that it would abandon it for them and its applications, but instead, allegedly, continued to keep using the trademarks for merchandise on, and his estate wants the trademarks on the merch to stop, and they're seeking out monetary damages and a judgment, they're hoping, that directs the company to destroy any merch that the Crips Org has made with those trademarks. Well, That's a lot. Crips Org is a person. No, it's but they, there's an LLC. Okay, we can't, we so can't. it's a person who's done this. I'm it ain't the Crips. No, it ain't the Crips. No, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. <laughs> but it is one, but they, but that's what they named it as well. Here's my right. thing. So they trying, they making it seem like he going to war with the Crips. They ain't yeah. going to war with the Crips. Yeah. They going to war with the motherfucker who trying to hustle the motherfucking name. And named it that yeah. right. And named it that right. Because my thing, my whole thing is I don't speak on gang, I'm not a gang member. I don't speak on gang politics. They ain't going to fuck with you, Chris. Yeah, it's speak a whole man. different lifestyle. <laughs> I just want to say if you're black, I want you to win. And that's all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, period, point blank. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's all. If you're black, I want you to win. So. Well, there you go. I mean, if you're a human, I want you to win. But specifically, because I'm, I'm black, I want... Oh, I that's want so sweet of you, Craig. I want to say this. I have been places, and I have... Because I, I live in L.A. for the last 20 years, and I went down to the store before things went you bad. You did, I remember, because you came... And I spent money in there. I remember when you came back and you were like, man, and you showed us that you had one of the sweatshirts on, and this was like I, I got that Slauson sweat, sweat, Slauson sweat, no, me sweatshirt. Yeah. That they charged me 250 for. 
Damn. And he came back yeah. talking about, mm, yeah, like, <laughs> but you still supported him. I, I, mm. I, so when I see people in other cities with that Crenshaw shit, I'll be laughing. I'll be like, cities, it's biggest seller is in Japan. Can you imagine all the Japanese? There's all these stores in there wow. that are selling it. Yeah. I'm like, so. This is a Chris Show shirt, huh? They're like, yeah, this is Chris Show shirt. <laughs> nigga, you don't get the fuck out of here, nigga. Hey, Niggas uh, gonna steal all your ideas. That's true. It ain't no, just like the motherfucking fake ass nigga who got a fucking cash app. That's why oh, I don't yell out cash app no more. Yeah. I mean, that's I still crazy. appreciate all donations, don't <laughs> lie. But it's a nigga who got a cash app that say Corey Holcomb on it and everything, Me too. but it's joke bag. With the extra G at the end. Ooh, he, and so I they, know he getting shit. Ooh. I'm like, so people, so well, I know how the game go. Everybody is is more dirt bags than it is stand up motherfucker. Yeah, that's true. I believe it, yeah. Motherfuckers yeah. gonna run with your shit. They, we gotta hustle that shit while we can. So all I'm saying, mine is joke bag the way it's supposed to be spelled. Some other motherfucker got some shit to say Corey Holcomb on there. Niggas Joke so bag with Are the they? extra G. That's so messed Dirty up. Dirty motherfuckers, man. Messed up. So anyway. if you ever want to donate to my cash app with Joke Bag, spell it's Joke Bag, J-O-K-E-B-A-G, not mm. J-O-K-E-B-A-G-G <laughs> with Corey Holcomb Damn. and everything. It's motherfuckers, man. Look, I'm so sick of these motherfuckers. Motherfuckers like, man, I be on your motherfucking Instagram all the time. I be like, I, ain't, I don't have one. Yeah, you're like, I'm not on I'm it. I'm like, I got an Instagram, but I don't be on it. No, out of here. We was talking shit the other day. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that ain't me, my nigga. <laughs> that ain't me, my nigga. Oh, that's not Thirsty up. niggas motherfucking always run with your shit. Well, he, uh. Yeah, he sent that Cardi B Wilson titty picture out. Who did? I, I want to. I'll put this motherfucker out, nigga. How can I put this out without getting fucked up? Well, That's an ugly bitch, though. No, but how did you get it? It be bitches light-skinned uh, be getting, people be acting like they cute. I'm like, man, this is an ugly bitch. How did you get it? Oh, somebody sent it to me. Man, they got pictures of everything. No, I, mean, I got pictures probably... of big legs titties. Oh, but that's because they broke into her You got a picture of that man dick in your phone right yeah, now. Yeah, but that's because he was performing and it was at a concert and a lot of people saw it. They took pictures of it. Come on now. It's not like it was somebody's oh, that they had in the their iPhone. Oh, this is my man, Jimmy Martinez. <laughs> Jimmy, you crazy ass. This motherfucker. I got Rock Beach too. Sit in the Rock Beach, nigga. You got my direct link, nigga. Fuck with me. <laughs> Jimmy Martinez. So speaking about money... If you're looking to fuck off some, here we go again. Earlier today, Apple unveils their new highest speed iPhone 12. It's the most powerful in the new lineup. Um, it's the most powerful and in the new lineup, the highest one is 1099 and then the Pro was 999 and then they have a 799 and then they also now released a new mini, mini iPhone 12 at 699. So it's like half the cost. It will not include any chargers or ear pods. The pre-orders start October 16th with super fast 5G connectivity. It has a 12 megapixel camera. The 12 has a ceramic shield, making it tougher to crack or break, super protection from heat and electricity damage. So if you want to spend your money, go ahead. Look what I'm finna tell you, man. Ain't no such thing as COVID-19. That's a good segue. Go for it, Carl. 5G. 5G shockwaves are what's killing me. Trust me, there is no COVID. There ain't none of that shit, man. You dying from this 5G shit. The body is not meant to handle 5G technology. When that shit go through, remember when people first start talking about don't buy the headphones that are Bluetooth because yeah. that shit going through your brain? Yeah. Well, they pass all that now. To sell their product, they are willing to murder motherfuckers who can't survive it. Mm. <laughs> so you go get that new iPhone you want to. You go get that new iPhone. <laughs> Put that shit up to your head. <laughs> Have a two-hour conversation. <laughs> right. and kill yourself. Well, damn, nigga, I got COVID. No, you got 5G, <laughs> oh, nigga. <laughs> oh, it's just niggas don't know. They don't believe me. I, some of this information that I've been given by people I know Cause there's a lot of informative people out there on the internet, you know what I'm saying? And they got, they really study and, and go get information. And I'm so glad that I know people like 
uh, you know, uh, Tariq Nasheed and mm -hmm. Rita G, uh, the homie uh, Dre, used to be known, AKA Gorgeous Dre, uh, from the streets. These people got information that can help you learn about shit. And you know what I'm saying? Just trust me, man. This new motherfucking shit, they ain't giving a fuck about who died. They want their phones. You remember when you used to be in certain in the apartment and your phone ain't work? Yeah. They don't want that no more. <laughs> This 5G shit will go through any wall. Yeah, wow. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, I got 5G on it. <laughs> right. This shit go through whatever. They don't give a fuck what the problem is, motherfucker. All these motherfuckers in the NFL got corona. You think they finna die? Yeah, well, that's because huh. they work out. No, <laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> Them motherfuckers just ain't, they, they out there every day. Handling this shit and getting the best treatment, motherfucker. Your ass going to the hospital with that bullshit ass diabetes sickness and everything else that you been going to the hospital for, they gonna kill you in the name of Corona. <laughs> mm. But it's really 5G. Trust me. I know you, I, look, one day motherfuckers will be like, I remember Corey Holcomb saying something about that. Yeah, that happens quite often, though. That does. That <laughs> nigga, is, it does. It's 5G shit, mm -hmm. nigga. Fuck that new iPhone, dog. I got a flip now. I was finna get rid of this one. For uh -huh. real? I just realized now it's like... Y'all would've been like, able to look up that, that, that titty. You better get one of them old iPhones. My old iPhone... I got five phones, nigga. My old iPhones, the six and the seven and the eight, <laughs> they work better than the new ones. Yeah. Making fun of my eight plus, but I still have it That's in good condition. Got. Knock on wood. Keep mm -hmm. that motherfucker. After a while, Apple gonna let it go, <laughs> and they gonna be like, <laughs> "We'll give you this new one for little to nothing, mm -hmm. we want your brains." I got yeah. Huh? You gotta go to the bathroom. Go be. Uh oh, Craig gotta go to the bathroom. Craig, nothing. Craig said, "I ain't bad at you, nigga." That nigga got a woman vagina dick. Oh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Craig wear a pad. He got to peel that pad back off his head. I can't. <laughs> Go ahead. Anyway, no, I was pretty much done. I was just going to say uh, you might want to check um, updates in your state to see what mandates now they're uh, reissuing out because here in California they just released new uh, mandates um, in regards to dealing with COVID in California, and it's kind of messed up. Um, apparently either they're not arresting people, but they're giving fines, um, for new social distancing rule guidelines. They said it's under the public health, um, entitled mandatory requirements for all gatherings at all and any public gatherings. They must limit the number of attendees. They hold any three different households to maximum together. So in other words, why do you think they doing that? They want a reason to arrest you. If you can't gather how can you be outside? And they arrested 75 people at that Lakers thing downtown because it was, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's a way to basically regulate. Yep. You could just be reason. walking down the street. Like my man say he live down there. You walking from the store, mm -hmm. you can be arrested just by being outside. And now, be uh -huh, and, now and now it's even outdoors. They are limiting, they are limiting people. It says um, any amounts of people gathering too closely outdoors at parks and such. Uh, the new rules were announced days before hundreds of people turned out to celebrate this Lakers uh, game, and 75 in total were arrested. Well, they can, some were they have created but. laws where you can go to jail for being outside, not muzzled. Not muzzled, meaning without a mask. Yeah. If you're so. just a human being outside, you can go to fuck to jail now. That's, that's yeah. And they mm -hmm. claim it's because of a mask or because of some fucking world's deadliest disease where they got the weakest mask in the world you gotta wear i don't believe in that shit man <laughs> i didn't man i didn't heard too much information from people who motherfucking on top of their shit this is the dumbest shit that they have ever played on human beings the powers that be yes, put man. on a mask or you gonna get this shit and die or you can't come in. In March, eat. motherfuckers were scared to go outside, scared to touch gas stations, all that well, remember shit. Remember when I left that first week and I left late? It was like really late in the morning. Remember? Because I had to redo some of the shirts and I was driving home and got pulled over once. And the other one, they just spoke to me through the megaphone off their car. What'd they say? What are you doing out here? 
And I said, I'm coming back from work. Well, get home. I'm like, it's right there. I mean, it was ridiculous. The spotlight. You know how scary this world is about to get where when you, they've created laws where you can't be outside. Mm -hmm. See, I've seen this in movies. Like it was this movie uh, I saw. uh, I I don't know why I can't think of the name of it right now. But basically they have curfews Mm -hmm. and then you out and the police caught this girl out and they was going to rape her and shit like that. Because they the police, they do what Mm -hmm. the fuck they want to do. Yeah. All this stuff is coming true. You can't be out fucking side. <laughs> they done yeah. took over the outside mm. in the name of a fake pandemic. They telling you you got the shit, but can't show you the shit you got. But they building the, have you noticed Spectrum has took over the whole motherfucking United States? And those are the rays that's killing people. The spectrum rays that come from 5G, they done took over everything. Oh, get your spectrum phone. We got the mother motherfuckers faded. <laughs> Motherfucker, you are inviting death mm. in your presence with these, these waves that used to just be in Bluetooth headphones and things like that. It's all kind of shit going through you. If you live in the city, you quicker to die than the person who lives out in the... In the, uh, in the rural area where right. they, they don't have all this shit shooting through us. This equipment we got right now, this equipment was put together by Spectrum. Mm-hmm. We don't know what's shooting through us as we sit here right now. <laughs> the only thing we doing is brave because we feel like we healthy enough where if we fall apart, <laughs> we can recover. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, if it was somebody old or somebody real sickly, sickly meaning like somebody who has symptoms of whatever, 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 Mm. I would be worried about them if they were around a whole bunch of shit. Yeah. Mm. A whole bunch of equipment. Because equipment now, so it works the way they want it to work, Mm. like the internet in your car, the internet even on refrigerators now, it has to work the way they want it to work or it ain't worth it. So they put this powerful shit in there that's going to fuck you up in the long run. It ain't. It used to be, don't put on the Bluetooth headphones. Well, you got them on now just walking around this motherfucker. Answering your new 5G well, well, be, phone that well, D was talking about. Well, because they I make talk it, on that motherfucker for an hour. Well, they changed the connectors, connectors. So you have to use them. That's what they did. They right. They used to where you have to have uh, either on speaker or you have to have it against your ear or have a headphones. What is this shit called? Mm-hmm. I, I just want to say it before I, before I leave it alone. The... the, the What it's called is, hold on one second. I'm going to tell you what it's called. It's called literally um, radio spectrum radiation. This is what's traveling through us all as we talk on these phones and all of this computer shit we do. And it makes some people sick. And it comes out in form of a virus. Now, I'm not the professor, motherfucker, but this information I've been given, I believe in. Because this corona shit, when motherfuckers walk around here with these little, I was on the airline with a mask that was so thin and flimsy, I was like, whatever I got, I'm giving it to every motherfucker in here. <laughs> it's that recirculating. They're not right worried here. about no motherfucking human shit. You've been mm. li- living off that shit for years. Somebody said, check out Demolition Man with Wesley Snipes. Yeah, they probably had some shit in there. Mm-hmm. What's that shit he say right there? Radiation what? Go down, go back down just a little bit. I didn't see it. It says, what's that? Dada M-A-F? What does he say? Radiation? Radiation pneumonitis. Radiation pneumonitis. That's clever how he put that. Motherfucker, you living in the new world where mm. the beast has marked his territory with radiation that's going through your ass. Mm-hmm. And you think a human body can survive with one of these in your ear like this, one of these all in your hand. As soon as you wake up in the morning, you be like. <laughs> Looking at it, it's your eyes, it's messing with your eyes. They might everything. kill me for saying this. I'm dead ass, cause it's opening some people's eyes. Motherfucker, ain't no goddamn corona shit out there fucking you up. And we still that's, got that's, the COVID t shirts on. Right. Something. We still got the COVID shirts. I got some new sweatshirts coming out. That's gonna be talking about this shit. Mm-hmm. D, I don't know when they're gonna be ready. It's up to D. 
It is not up to me. It used to be up to me. I, I met the dude, I introduced him to D. Now D real tight with the dude. I had to go through her to talk to the dude now. Oh, that's how you want to get out of here. He'd be like, he be like, talk to D, don't talk no, to me. No, that's talk. so not true. I introduced you to D. He ain't he, he, he Mexican, too. <laughs> That's how you want to flip it, huh? Not that you don't answer your phone and give back to your employees. Okay. I'm bad with phone calls, but listen to what I'm telling y'all, uh -huh. ladies and gentlemen. Darlene <laughs> looks off more people with her phone than anybody I ever seen in my life. And once in a while, what? I might see a call and don't answer it. Today, my man from Miami, the hypnotist, he called me. But I'm I didn't answer the phone because I was driving and I was trying to eat. Yeah. I was trying to do two things. I was like, I'm gonna hit her back. So Lenny, Ooh, I'm gonna hit you him. back. Nope, don't believe it. But Darlene me. will look no. a motherfucker off like Ugh. that's such a lie. <laughs> that's such a lie. This man will request a job, something to be done, and then you're on it, and then you go and you contact him. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's like, wait, I thought he wanted this done ASAP. Yeah. Three days have passed, and this fool ain't answered no messages. And the difference between me and Darlene, I own that. I fucked up with my communications. Right. She won't admit her shit. Darlene, look you off when you call I her. I do not. Ah, I don't I feel like talking to that motherfucker. That's his own insecurity. I done self. seen her do it. She'll be like, oh, that's those telemarketers. It says your brother. One, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a brother, but thank God. No, I do it not. It says do Annalisa that. right there. Why oh, you I would never do that to my girl. By the way, happy birthday this Friday. Hey, Annalisa, happy birthday. It's a big one. It's her 5-0. I, I always tell her. I'm a I always tease her because she's younger than her. Anyway. Oh, really quick. Can I say one more thing? Of course. Yeah. Okay. It's it's because uh, I was looking forward to this. But yeah, either way, we're going to see it. So the new Coming to America 2 just got bought out. So it will not be in theaters. Yeah. <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> That uh, mean that shit gonna be whack as fuck. Oh, why did I say that? I sound like a hater. Yeah, I'm sorry. that's not nice. It's already done, but what happened was they sold um, Paramount Pictures sold the sequel to Amazon Studios for 125 million. Now the original made 128 million, so they bought this one right out for 125 million. So yeah, it is. That's good. There you go. I'm it's, not it's, hating. I'm I'm sorry. I yeah. said anything. It's, it's, why I, do that. it's still well, I mean, um it's pandemic. still set to have a December 18th release, which is the same date Amazon is expected to debut the sequel on its streaming service. Of course. I miss because going to movie way. theaters. I do. That's true. There's an atmosphere when you hook up with somebody and y'all go to the movies and y'all watch the shit around you strangers can still go. and order popcorn and all that but shit. But you can still go. There's some open. They only got two movies in the theaters. You can go in no, Vegas. No, no. Uh -uh. They have them? No, it's just on the outskirts. It's nowhere in LA County, but you can go right out here. It's outside of, there's one past Torrance. There's one if you go a little more south. There's about eight open AMCs. Yeah, I'll but not in here morning. in LA County. They don't. Yeah, we. I'll be there in the morning, mm -hmm. real spit. For real, they're open. But anyway, so it's it's still expected to have that December 18th release, but... Good luck with it. I'm going to go see it. Yeah, or you'll buy it, or whatever yeah. it is. Or get that... See, that they, they, they know what they're doing. It's a lick. They want you to get their new streaming service. Yeah. That's going to be the new one for um, Paramount. Craig ate Chinese food. Nope. <laughs> I did boo-boo, I ain't going to lie, but so it wasn't Chinese food. You shouldn't there in I should. Well, I but come I got up that, with a shit, man. But I got man. that pre-toilet I mean, spray. Did you use that? The little the purple pre toilet spray. You like that toilet stool in there? No, mm -hmm. man. I just be eating a lot. I'm oh, back okay. on my workout. I got a lot of fiber in me, Oof. man. Okay. I'm like, <laughs> two, three shits a day is healthy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Corey, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I shit like a motherfucker. Oh, okay, TMI. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's about to go. No, no. That's anyway. Right. So we are going to take a quick break to listen to some beats because Craig Fax is here and we finna motherfucker come up with a cold ass song and we gonna motherfucker wrap this shit up. You dig? 5150, motherfucker. Your mama failed at the dick pussy game. That's why you out here like that.
We back? Yeah. All right. All right. Hold on. What up, y'all? 5150 back for our motherfucking outro song. God damn it, we talked about a lot of crazy shit today. You about to end this motherfucker on some of this crazy shit. Give me that beat. Hold on. That's the radioactive waves. That's the way. Thought she was fucking around with this dude. Then I find out about the news is new. This bitch got a cell phone fetish. In the hang of the pussy, next to the lettuce. I said, what's up? I'm trying to fuck. Couldn't bang, cause that 5G had her pussy on hang. Bitch got 5G in her pussy, and she about to die. That's the waves, waves. That's the radioactive way. That's the way. Yeah, the bitch got 5G in her pussy and she about to die. That's the way, way, that's the way. That's the radioactive way. Secret. This beat sound like some video game funk. I can't really rap to it and can't get stuck. But anyway, I'ma rap cause I can't really hear it until I get the spirit that it bring me near it. Look, bitch got some radioactive pussy and it's kinda sickly and she want me to stick it. I'm like, nah, bitch, I can't get with that shit to sickness. The beat cuts off, but I'm conflicted. <laughs> Bitch got 5G in her pussy and she about to die. Yeah, that's the way, way, that's the way, nigga. That's the radioactive way, that's the way. <laughs> Bitch got 5G in her pussy and she about to die. Yeah, that's the way, way, that's the way. That's the radioactive way, way. that's the way. How oh, your pussy is about to die. Mm. When I smelled it, it hurt. I, I want it so bad for us to be around But you be on your cell phone too much And your pussy about to be shut down Hey, the bitch got five to hear the pussy And she's about to die That's the way, wait, that's the way That's the radio out of your way That's the way Oh, bitch got five to hear the pussy And she's about to die That's the way, wait, that's the way That's the radio out of your way it's better know she got to go if that 5G pussy coming through on the low. Got a nigga sick, damn did I cough. Can't fuck with her and don't wanna break her off. So I find another bitch that's health is together. So she can weather the storm and we get better. 
until then, I must leave, bitch, you're gone Cause I don't like a sickly bitch in my dome Your pussy works like a remote control You my favorite hoe Woo! Pussy works like a remote control Yeah, hey, that's why you my favorite hoe, yeah that's the wave, wave, that's the wave. That's the radioactive wave. That's the wave. Look at that. Nigga, Daffy Duck made that beat. That motherfucker was goofy. Electric boogaloo. Electric boogaloo boo boo. <laughs> that was made by a German house DJ. Well, and that's right. only why, because the other beat they wanted to play, guys, a reminder, mm. right? Man, we ad lib. We don't give a fuck. Come no, on but with I'm, the just beats. Letting, I'm just letting them know that the we reason why we didn't use the other beat, right, is and because it, it popped up as something. So you guys got to yeah. watch yeah. out. Make sure they definitely duck. Struggling, <laughs> struggling <laughs> records. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, fuck hey, you, Jerry no. Reed. Uh, <laughs> duck Silk the Shocker collab. Right. Beat, nigga. That's that's just the, was uh, trash. Uh, somebody said that beat was clean. See, somebody like it. That boy's good. What's been happening to the old guys? Which old guys? Now, all the people we used to see all the time, they don't fuck with us no more. Like, uh, what was the what, other one? What was Ronan? Old, where's Harmony Clown at? Ronan? Oh, yeah, I sent her a message like a, a month or so ago. Oh, yeah? I wanted to make sure they're all okay, you know, with COVID and stuff. She said she's working she okay? and things like that. Yeah, she's fine. Good. And I haven't heard from Ronan, though. Ronan, I heard from him. I ain't reached back to him. Oh, okay, but My bad, okay. Ronan. Okay. I did motherfucking nap town, goddammit. Mm-hmm. Big Chris is good. Big Chris, what up? He Why? The I be every fucking now, up. Man. I be forgetting to call motherfuckers back and shit. Yeah, and again, we're going to have that big sidewalk sale at the restaurant. But Oh, I was going to have it this coming weekend, but Mimi's helping me out. No, for real. Mimi's helping me out, and she's stuck in Mexico. She went on a Mexico trip, and, you know, there was like a hurricane or something like that going through there. But anyway. What's Mimi? Mimi, Mimi? Yeah, she, so Mimi's going to be out there helping me with the Mimi sale. Mimi got 5G in her pussy stuck in Mexico. <laughs> That's the wave, stuck, wave. That's the wave. That's the she wave, wave bro. That's the <laughs> wave. That's the wave, bro. Ole, <laughs> on. The door <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. And my homegirl, Monique. Hey, Monique. She's going to help, too. So they're going to help me what on that sale. Because it's going to be a lot of work. Yeah. This weekend? No, we were going to have it this weekend, but Mimi's not going to be around to help us. And then I'm, Plus, I have to get somebody to cover my shift at the restaurant. But we're going to have it right there in the front yeah. at the restaurant. Everybody, everybody can come. Somebody say oh. Roland Martin crying beats. They be making so much funny shit. The internet is cruel, boy. When they make that crooked leg, Dak, Which Dak thing? Prescott. Yeah, them niggas. Oh, man. Oh. I was like, boy, these motherfuckers wild as <laughs> fuck. And then they're fast. Some people are so creative. They just like, boom, it clicks in. But you're Have like you seen that, that dog singing? Which dog? Oh, my God. That dog made that howl. And I forgot the brother. He made a song out of it. The dog was like, Roo! Trying to get in, then the dog said, Oh! <laughs> then dude turned it into a beat. Oh no. He was like, hey y'all, the dog was like, Oh! <laughs> they show it? <laughs> I think they were. You're gonna run out of breath. They, they did that shit a little bit like when they, uh, I forgot what this auto tuned it a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> they just kept they showing the dog, Oh! <laughs> Somebody made a whole Christmas album of Christmas carols out of dog barks. You ain't never heard that shit? I, 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 I don't know. I ain't seen it. Yeah. yeah, look it up on YouTube. Well, while we're at it, just, just jumping off into something else, um, I want to give thanks to the two people, the first two to buy, even though we had about probably close to 30 sales for that DCSF um, hoodie. But the first guys that night that we announced it on the show was Michael Goodman and Benz Brown. Who else brought some? Oh, a lot. Yell their name out. You got Well, there's so many. Yeah, I'd have to open the app up. But I just want to thank those two. No, you got to have that beat that. We'll do it. That's I'm actually, you know what? I would love to do the list again. I'm going to get Moody to make a beat like that. 
the, the beat for names we yell we'll, out and we'll who play support the, the show. You want to do that again? We could do that. I'm going to get Moody Weekly. to make the beat. Why Moody going to make the beat. Moody is brilliant. But God I also want to I want to thank those two fellas that bought that night. I mean, we had just mentioned it. And also, I want to remind everybody, in case you already got yours, if you notice, there's a little extra things in there. So I've just been, you know, throwing some extra things in there. Of course, you get a pair of the 5150 Classic socks. So just in case you haven't ordered a DCFS hoodie, I'm putting a pair of socks in there for you. So I'm putting the 5150 go. socks in there. Mm -hmm. Black oh. with the red. <laughs> That's good, Craig. Oh, I hope a Christmas carol. Uh, uh, you'll find it. I know you're going to find it. <laughs> Nicki Minaj, thank you for that Wilson, the soccer ball titty. No, that was Cardi B. I mean, Cardi B. Same uh, bitch, same no, thing. Bust down. Bust down to get it. Bust down to get it. I'm just fuck with y'all. Y'all stand up <laughs> women. My bad. Uh, I knew the young staff who learning the game. Oh. Nail. Nail. Hey, well, I sure do appreciate y'all, man. You got him right. Motherfuckers oh. thought the 5150 show was about to fall off. Because uh. the hamburger got ghost. But look. Yeah. Oh, my God. Rubber, rubber. Anyway, now I'm just fucking with Where you. Where you at this weekend, Corey? I'm at the crib. Oh. Are you? I thought you were going out of town. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm off one more week, and I need it. I don't know what the fuck. Them 5G waves get me. You can, can you imagine how much shit I go through to get on a plane? A plane is pure oh, radiation and all that shit. They check your body scan. All, all that, that shit, walk through that shit. When you travel every week, homie, yeah. you fucking up. You can't, and, like, it's, it, I'm shortening my life. And you're in that plane mm. with everybody using their phones. Can you imagine that? That little box. It's flying around up there with everybody on their planes. With all kind of radiation. Planes. I'm, tomorrow, I'm going, I'm going to be out there in Long Beach hmm. or somewhere on the beach. I'll be on the beach out here walking with no shoes on, getting grounded again. But that's how you're supposed to do it. I yeah. know. I'll be I like, do. I ride my bike and do it. I ride my bike all the way got, from You got a motherfucking, like, we, we put on Jordans and, and, and denim that, that's been <laughs> washed in all kind of soot. And motherfuckers be like, how I get cancer? Do you actually, do you well, actually you been, get in there and dive into the swimming. waves? I ain't diving into the water what? yet. Nigga, this is the ocean. This ain't the lake. Exactly. This is an ocean. Oh, Motherfuckers don't man. understand. It's animals out there. Oh, hell. That's why you're scared. It's animals in the ocean. We all got to go. Let's film Corey getting. We dive under the wave. It's so much fun. See, Corey. in Africa, you don't see them out there fucking with the animals. When they see the animals, they let them go. Mm -hmm. You saw that motherfucker out there jogging, acting like that bobcat or that cougar was out of pocket? So That I've cougar all... was like, fuck your soft ass doing out here, no <laughs> That cat was out. Whoop your ass. So out of all the moments, you're saying if you drive dove in the uh, Venice Beach or Santa Monica Beach that you would be the one. It's animals out there, D. Okay. I'm not talking. It's animals All bigger right. than you. All right, scary, They scary. strong, D. If mm. something grab you out there, what do you think? You just going to walk away from it? Oh, I got bit by the little Corey, fishy fishy. You, you no. Walk, you walk the streets and drive a car. That's worse. I know them animals better. No, man. Come uh, on. You can't swim with a gun? You got to have fun. <laughs> you got to have fun, Corey. If it's, if it's your time, it's your time, okay, man. Okay, D, we'll keep living like that. All right. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you feel like that, why make guys wear rubbers? What? If it's your time, it's your time. Oh, my God. Shit, man. <laughs> that's ridiculous. So, th yeah. That's no fun. Anyway, uh -uh. all you people who stayed up late watching the show, we show to appreciate y'all. Um, man, it's like, yo, I'm about to motherfucking launch. Listen, all this shit that's in the stores gets you sick. Lotions and shit like that. I'm getting ready to launch a line of lotions, soap, all this shit for you to have in your car. See, this is what happens at night. I'm saying not everybody, men and women, ride around at night and they find themselves in places where they just want to motherfucking either post up or take a shower or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a 5150 booty call kit. <laughs> and this shit is going to have everything you need penicillin, in the little sack. Penicillin. We ain't going to put penicillin in there. <laughs> But we going to have <laughs> shit set up for you to be on deck. Like, let's say you got to take a shower somewhere. Mm. 
most people don't have the shit set up. I'm going to have kit, everything right. you need in that bag. Like if you got to be somewhere and shower somewhere mm -hmm. for you to be lubricated, mm -hmm. soaked up and all that shit. But the thing about it. Corey's toiletry kit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's like a toiletry kit, mm -hmm. but for men or women. Okay. And it doesn't have the products that are full of all these chemicals that eventually get you sick. There's deodorant. I didn't know deodorant you put on, like when you just go to the store and buy regular deodorant. Well, that's old school. They don't have aluminum in it no more. It's against the law for them to include aluminum. But this is what I'm saying. If they, lemon juice work? Just lemon juice. Lemon juice? Do it work for is you? That your, is that what's going on with you, Craig? Oh, okay. <laughs> that's why you smell like uh, lemon juice and, um, <laughs> and, and, and wood nigga outside. Wood nigga outside. <laughs> But uh -huh. I'm, I'm coming out with products Charcoal. that are not as toxic. As you should, as you should. Twizzler as I'm cleaner. learning more yeah. about this stuff, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to fucking get sick from using um, um, deodorant too much or get sick from, because if they, if they took the aluminum out, what else they got in there? That's true. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. True so I didn't, I didn't even realize this until like the last year of my life. Well, I'm like, you just can't go in stores and buy whatever the fuck they got. Almost mm -hmm. everything you buy in a store is a trap. Yeah, mm -hmm. even the cat food. Make your own. Unless huh? you get it from folks it's like Zeresh or something like even that. Even the cat food, if you folks, buy your cat. I had to get my cat a liver transplant from that. Cause here we food. go, here we go. I believe oh, you. Oh, I thought he was playing. No, I thought you were going to come with it. liver in it now, man. Oh, stop. <laughs> I knew it. Damn it, Craig. Shit. You got a cat coon now. <laughs> you bullshit. See, you fell for it. Hurry. You got a you organ transplants to, like dogs. If you got that paper, you can get shit done. Yeah. Nigga, if you got that bag, yeah. you yeah. get shit done. I know they have pacemakers for them. What's get your dick done. You want your dick to work yeah, right? He said he wanted to extend it. Get your dick done. Right. <laughs> What's most you Make your, your 7 to 12. To get a liver or like some type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a bulldog. Yeah, you'd pay whatever. Yeah. 1700 a piece for both legs. Oh, wow, well, yeah. Because they had to get the legs done. Mm -hmm. I was like, shit. He had a little gimp. You had a clearance bulldog. Clearance bulldog, yeah. Yeah, something was wrong with him. They all, they, they yeah, animals. Yeah, no, no, I'm just saying, they're all. They can say that about you, D. You a clearance Shut girl. Shut up. Oh, God. <laughs> you had that shit done. Your eyes about <laughs> shot in the motherfucker. They didn't go bad till later, so. If a nigga could sound like another nigga you fucking with, he could be fucking with you. At least it's just my eyes. Hey, Corey. D, I'm glad to see you. <laughs> at least it's just my eyes and I can pop Six some Six in the morning, police at my door. That's all I think. <laughs> <laughs> nigga gotta sound like that. You stupid. No. Yo, I right. kill Pookie. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> fucking crackhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking crackhead. You old Pookie. You old. <laughs> you old Pookie. That's hilarious. That's wild. Hell no, man. Uh, Fuck y'all, man. We up out this bitch. Yeah. I got pay Nail and uh, Abe and shit. Yeah. And uh, they get out of here all the time. E even though we ain't got no videos posted yet, Nail be bullshit now. <laughs> anyway, all right, so. Next Why, week. I want to promote my Cameo. Please promote it. I'm on Cameo now, Cameo.com. Darlene Ortiz, I can give you your uh, birthday personal shout-outs, uh, messages, whatever you need. I'm there. Check it out on Cameo.com. And hopefully Corey will be following through by next week. When I get my Cameo, it's to cuss out people, whatever yeah. you need done. Oh, I'm about to, I'm about to buy Who one. Who was that? She said, she said it was her pops. She said I was her pops. <laughs> 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 That's messed up, Corey, because whoever sent you a picture, What did it really say? That girl really does look like Corey. Yeah. Wow. So that girl look like me? You can tell me. <laughs> she look like me? Wow. <laughs> Let me see what that say. They get crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, she sent me a clip of the show. Oh, uh, that's messed up. This is a girl, up. Craig, eating out from the back. <laughs> anyway. After she hooped. <laughs> after she, after she hooped, man. <laughs> 51 months. You got something you want to plug? Yeah, oh, yeah, man. Go to uh, check out my Patreon. Also, my web, my Patreon is uh, The Craig Smith, and my website is The Craig Smith. And uh, I got a few dates coming up. Uh, shit, I got to. I forgot them. I'll tell you all the Nothing dates next local? week. Nothing local? Damn, Craig, see? I'm awesome. done with my musical album. Uh, there it is. Yet. I just gotta get. I just got to shoot at least four more videos. Yeah. I won't release it as only audio. Nah, that'd be Listen. nice. Some so all you hack know. motherfuckers exactly. can fucking have something else to hack. Anyway, that's it? Mm-hmm.
51, motherfucker 50, Corey Hogan, the nigga real nifty, Darlene, the street nigga she gifty, Craig, <laughs> your hair real swifty. We about this <laughs> yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah, peace, peace. Watch Craig Vex, too. <laughs>